Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, Delissime. For today's look, we are going to be accomplishing a icicle, almost frozen kind of look, <laughs> you can say. You can already see that I've prepped my nails as well as filled them, so I'm just gonna jump right in. If it's your first time, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. If you are new, please do subscribe to my channel if you are interested in nail techniques, nail art, and just overall reviews. I am a licensed nail technician that graduated from American Institute of Beauty and I come online just to go over, you know, best tips and tricks as well as, you know, fun cute little art designs for your nails. So please do join our channel and here we go. Into the cure, we are done with the base coat. I was creating this design as I was going. I wasn't really sure what the vision was gonna be. So since we are in the holiday season, I decided to select this kind of turquoise blue. I decided to add multiple layers so that I can get an opaque color for the polish, meaning that it's not transparent and you really can't see through it because I really wanted a color that stands out. So I've grabbed my white and I'm gonna do the same thing. I believe I did maybe three coats of the white so that the color is really solid. Now that I have laid down the white polish, we are pretty much ready for our design. I am gonna cure this, really just don't forget to cure in between each layer. So once that's finished, I've grabbed my turquoise or my teal color and I'm doing a mini, mini French tip on the nails that are white. Because like I said, I'm out here just going with, the, <laughs> really going with the flow. So I decided that I was gonna take that little mini French all the way up um, and kind of do like a box frame for the rest of the nail. So I'm very quickly doing that. You can see that on my little palette, I have like red and black. I don't know if I'm gonna use the red, but I definitely dabbled inside the black. All right, so now I'm grabbing the Beatles rhinestone glue. Should you say that 10 times? It is honestly so freaking strong. It's so nice. I recommend 10 out of 10. So I go ahead and I grab my little dabbing tool here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a little line. You can see, and then I'm grabbing the rhinestones to put on. And then I'm going to cure right after, and honestly, they do such a good job uh, staying on the nails. I was like, what's going on here? I'm like, what, where, what am I doing? I'm just grabbing one of the jewels. So super great. I place the jewel where I want it to go, and then I'm gonna quickly go ahead and put that into the lamp because I don't want any of the rhinestones to start slipping around like you can kind of see there. So I quickly put on the jewels into the lamp and we are then ready to move on to the next design for the other sides of the fingers and let's see what I come up with. I feel like when it comes to the rhinestones, you can do one of two ways. I've done both of these ways, so I feel like whichever method works best for you is fine. So the first time I used the rhinestone glue, I did do a top coat on top of the finished nail to then put the rhinestone on. In this video, I noticed that I didn't put a top coat on, most likely because I was unsure of where we were going with the art design, so I didn't want to seal it completely um, and then have to put like nail art on top of it. So I would say that either way works. Like if I knew what the if I knew what the art design was gonna be, I most likely would have done that design put the top coat on it and then onward with the uh, jewels. But honestly, I feel like both ways work because I put the jewels on, I'm gonna grab my, my polish, right, my top coat, and I'm just gonna go over the nail like I normally would. So I'm finishing up the rhinestones on the other hand. Honestly, I am really digging the way this looks. You can see that on the pointer and on the pinky finger, I ended up dabbling into that black and put some dots kind of going along the side of the nail. And honestly, I am in love with it. I'm in love with it. So 
yeah, I'm excited. And I got my ring glistening, which is really cute, so. <laughs> All right, so now that we have finished the white nails, we're moving on to the teal ones. And honestly, I think at this point, I was like so tired. I was like, let me just keep it simple. Let me just add some white dots, you know, kind of do like a dotted box frame and just kind of get moving along with this set because I remember I was like, I'm tired. Slow and steady definitely wins the race when it comes to nail art. If you are doing your nails on yourself and you don't like the nail art, don't cure it. Make sure you have some like either alcohol wipes, alcohol with um, lint-free wipes so that you're able to wipe away that design. I am super used to dots because, you know, I'm still out here trying new things and you know, when I am just trying to wrap up a nail art, I'm like, let me just throw some dots on there. Let me throw some jewels. So with these set, these sets of nails, I, um, yeah, kept it really simple. Kept it super simple, which is fine, and I like it. So I believe when I finish up here, I'm gonna cure them, of course, and then we are just gonna put some bigger rhinestones on these fingers. I'm like. You want va va voom? I'm gonna give you va va voom because this set is like screaming like icicle. I don't know, it's giving chilly. I'm cold. You know, where's the cocoa? <laughs> so, um, you know, got the Beatles rhinestone glue. I'm just gonna do, you know, boop, boop, boop. You know, I feel like this is also giving rhinos, rhino with the rhinestones. Because it's, it's fun when people look at your nails and they're like, oh my goodness, like, can I touch that? And I'm like, yes, of course you can touch it. You know, like, obviously be careful all the tips because they're super sharp. But yeah, like, touch it. It's textured. I, you know, I had this one guy at the store and was like, oh, I thought this was... I thought that this was inside the nail. I'm like, well, you can encapsulate it or you can put it on top. I'm like, but these ones are on top. So that was really cool. Just kind of teaching him something new. It's funny that he kind of asked to touch, touch on that. I was like, yeah, dude, whatever. It's fine. You're good. So you can see that I am whacking on this top coat. I'm making sure that it's got an even layer before I cure it. Depending on what it looks like after, sometimes it could be a little streaky. You know, I'll probably put like another layer on there and just cure it. But um, that's why you can kind of see, you know, I'm kind of getting in between the ridges and I'm really trying to make sure that it's even because I want to make sure, how many times can I say, I want to make sure <laughs> that it is shiny completely all the way around. I'm gonna make sure just to like look around on all the fingers and all the hands to make sure that there isn't any, you know, missing spots before I cure it, but I love it and it looks beautiful. Little bird. This has to be one of my favorite moments of either myself or putting it on a client is the cuticle oil, making sure that the cuticles are nice and soft and that the they look beautiful so that when your client leaves, you can either do a nice little light massage, but really I just wanna go ahead and make sure that the cuticles are looking good. But here is our set. This is what we came up with. I am extremely excited, super happy. Definitely takes time and patience when you are working on your own nails. I always have customers um, at my job ask me like how do you do your own nails I said baby it's practice but if you learn something new if you enjoyed hanging out with me and then getting this look please don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification and I'll leave my socials here in the description